you have to grow up on offense. People turn the heat up, and you hit you in the mouth, and we don't respond. So that's what I told them. You gotta, you gotta respond. It's simple. Until they do that, when the minute begins, it begins good people. So. I put the defense in a bad way because when we weren't moving the ball, then I tried to blitz to try to hold the ball and, and keep them where they were, and we gave up some big plays, and uh, it's probably my fault. So it's, we're going one way and they're running the counter the other. So, and I thought they fought hard. We needed to still tackle better. Did, but it wasn't bad. And I thought they they fought, did things they needed to do. What makes you think the offense needs to grow up or they're lacking? No, I, I, we got to get better up front. Really across the board, we got thrown around by everybody. Wide receivers, we dropped balls. We didn't block anybody in the perimeter. We just we're gonna have to grow up or go recruit. That's what I told them I'm doing. I'm doing tomorrow. I'm going recruiting. Got to grow up. Did you think they were getting there at some point this year? No. You can't, you're never going to get any better if you're negative all the time. you you got you to call it the way you got to call it. That's I mean, just the way it is. got to grow up. You can't be shaking your head and putting your head down when you get beat. you got to grow up. That's what four-year-olds do. It's not what men do. you got to grow up. Could you say the same thing about the quarterbacks, too, that they need to grow up? Well, I mean, you guys can't say anything about the quarterbacks. They both played a half. That's the same production. So... I just mean from the entire year. Um, yeah, I don't. I think they. I don't think it's been one of the. I don't think it was because of effort. That kid was running. I mean, even when he got hurt on the final one, he's running all over the place. If anything, we probably should have brought him in a little bit sooner. But I think Sonny wanted to give him foster chance, and I feel like we were. As soon as it wasn't going the way we needed to to get him out of there, but it's, bottom line is, when you, you have to beat people with your feet. You got to beat them with your feet. We played the best defense in the league, and, and they treated us like they were the best defense in the league. What you thought on that uh, call late or in the first quarter where it looked like Hurts had fumbled the ball and they called an incomplete pass? Oh, I mean, I'm not going to talk about that. There were five or six things that I, I'd like to, I want to see on film before I have any conversations. Yes, Mr. Gill. Does Sonny and Doug share your your same concerns on offense? Or do they feel like y'all you have to uh, grow up, or, or are they looking more? Well, I don't know. I haven't really talked to them. I haven't really talked to them about that. But I will. We, we never have those kind of conversations until the season's over, and season's over. We've got one week to go recruiting. Like I said last week, it's kind of a, it's a hindrance because anybody that plays on this day lost a week of recruiting. And so I'll be heading out uh, tomorrow. Try to make up some time, along with all the rest of the coaches. So, is it fair to say that your recruiting would include not just high school kids, but yes, but beyond? Mm -hmm. With you guys having a, a chance to work out for both practices, is this a chance for you to give the younger guys a chance to compete for the, some of those right. jobs already? I don't, if they were they were in that position, we we'd already tried them. They need a whole. But we may not throw a football during bowl practices if we don't, they're not careful. So, but you got to be careful. You got to get the guys to the bowl practice. You got to get them to the game. So, but we're a six and six football team. Pretty simple. They're an eight and four football team. Here, there was a fourth and short early in the third quarter, midway through. The score was still manageable. Did you think it's on our field now. It's on like the 37-yard line. You know, I'm not a real big guy when they stuff you on when they stuff you on third and short to go on and, and go on fourth and short. Usually, it comes with you're feeling good about yourself and you can and you can move people around and do things. We weren't moving anybody, so and that's not fair to all of them. We we've got to grow up. Uh, what, how was Kyle running today? Was he effective? Was it Dr. Levy? Kyle Pitts? Yeah, so again, you, you got to give Kansas State some credit. I think Kansas, I mean, they, they have a good football team. They, 
They're only giving up 100 yards rushing a game with 108. So you're talking about a team that played there. Really, two of their losses, they lost 17 to 16 to West Virginia at West Virginia. And really probably had Oklahoma State beat um, at the end. And so, you know, you very easily this they could be a ten they could be a ten and two football team right now. Just like we could be a eight and eight and four football team right now. We saw you calmly discussing the play with the officials, but um, what reason did they give you for picking up the flag on the pick play? Like I said, I gotta see it. But I mean some of those calls, you know, they, they change ball games. That's the thing that upsets me. I don't, if you're going to throw it, then throw it or don't throw it. But I need to see it before I can have a comment. I think Mike Barrera said on TV, you know, officiated him. Oh, yeah. You got to stop. I mean, but. You mentioned your coordinators wanted to see something from Foster, and that's why it took a while for him to get into the game. Is that the reason? No, I didn't say that. When, did I say that? I said we started him. I said we probably should have brought Kenny and Suna. That's what I said. But we started him. He got hurt. He didn't practice. Kind of like the week before. He, he didn't practice most of the week. So. You think Foster was affected with what he? I didn't think either one of them. We scored seven points. I mean, Six, he, whatever it is, we got up there. Yeah. His decisions and what he offered. His I team. don't know. I'll watch the film tomorrow. Was this effort comparable to the Oklahoma State game? I don't, effort, I don't know if effort's the word. I think defensively, I think there was a lot of effort. I think there was a lot of effort in the first, the first half, just like the Kansas State game, just like the Oklahoma State game. That game was, what, 10 to 6? Just like this one was. You gotta, you gotta come up and turn up the knob, especially at home. You know, we, Defensively, we've allowed 18 points a game on the road, and we've allowed 30 on the 30 on the road uh, when we played at home. That's that's kind of unusual. Now it'll help us next year. It'll help us in the bowl game because we're not playing at home. But geez, you got you got to grow up, and you got to do. It. Like I told him, we dropped balls. I thought Taj could have could have dove for the post route in the middle of the field. It's, you got to grow up, so we need to grow up. Growing up, is there a, just an overall lack of leadership from off? No, I don't think so. You guys are trying to build into our six and six. Last week we were a hero. We beat Texas. Now we're you know you, you want to kids we're six and six. We're not we're not accustomed to being that. So we have a standard. That's how we play. And and I'm not going to sit here and crucify people. If anybody blame me. You want, to, you want to talk about something? The head coach didn't get it done. I'm a big boy. So, Coach Patterson needs to handle his team a lot better. They need to grow up. That should be your hero lines. That's okay with me. But we're not stopping. We never stop. We were four, we were five and six in 2004, and you guys laughed at me, laughed at me when I told you we were going to go to BCS games. We all thought I should have been done when we were four and eight in 2013. Then we came back and won 23 and lost three. We're six and six this year. It's not my first rodeo, nor it will be my last. I was happy with the student section that was here. But I wasn't happy with the rest of it. We didn't finish the deal. We want to win championships. We want to, we want people to, to have TC be along. Then everybody's rain or shine. Everybody's got to be there. We're all either going to be all in or all out, one of the two. Because I promise you, if we were in Manhattan, Kansas, and it was like that, it would have been packed. We done not been any different. So. Senior day, Josh Carraway, James McFarlane, those guys. But what do you say to those guys before the game? Like, oh no, he was well, all of it. You know, care, love him to death. You know, Josh had tears his eyes after the game. He cares. He knows. He what? He knows what it's like. He's been part of. He's been part of forty wins. Five years, forty wins. Forty wins. 
be part of the goods and the bad, but he's a good part of 40 wins. So it's, he knows what TC is supposed to be like. Okay? And he was getting out to some guys on the sidelines, and he needs to. That's what needs to happen down there. And not defensively, not defensive guys. You need to grow up. But I mean, it's, I know a lot of, I know a lot of people need to grow up. Including me. He asked my wife. Get used to day to day basis. But you know, they hadn't they like I said last week they didn't get they haven't been throwing a great all the breaks you have and what you need to do. So we found a way to get back to a bowl game. And that's what I'm gonna go forward with. We're getting to a bowl game. We've got fifteen practices. Um, you guys asked me sitting here last week. Somebody asked me, well it's well, there be a difference if you're six and six or seven and five? And I, I said, I don't know. You want one more. But the key is, you know, if you're looking at long range, whether we were six and six or we won today, there will still be things we got to change. You still got to work on them. That's what you do. So my opinion, to be honest with you, even if we had found a way to win today, still would have been probably about the same way, about things we need to, we need to work on. It's not a it's not a short it's not a short range program. It's not what we're trying to get accomplished. It's a long range program that's been built. That's why people I tell people about five or six more years because the median right now is we've been here 19 years, so the median is about 40 years old. Uh, the ones that are used to winning all the time, and then you have the ones over 40, and in about another six years, then the median will be closer to 50 that's used to winning all the time. Then I don't know if I can handle that group anymore. Let somebody else. I just want to go to the tailgates. Then I can be the guy complaining. The sausage isn't hot enough. The drink's not strong enough. So. It won't be because they won't be complaining about football. I'll promise you that. I have a hard time even going when I go to look and watch high school coach players. I gotta walk the chain. I gotta watch the walk the uh, cable because. Listen to everybody in the stands. I can't handle them get after the coaches and players and all the things they do. I don't sit in the stands. And so I'm not going to be one when I get done. I promise you that. I'll be the critic of the water of the Gatorade. Which one, the, the purple or the red or the green or the, the lime, and see which one actually was mixed the best. And I'll get bring some to Gil. Do you look at the bowl game as a, the last chapter of this season or turning the page for the next? For me, when you play in some of them where it's, it's the last chapter because you're trying to help kids finish, for me, this will be a, probably a 50-50. I'll try to, I'll try to um, as a coach, I will try to finish the season for the seniors. And then the other, the other half of me is going to be we're going to spend whatever practice we get getting ready for the bowl game, start growing this team up to do what we need to do. You don't wait till next, you don't wait till next uh, March when we start spring ball. So for me, we'll, uh, and that's the way I address to be in the locker room today. I mean, it's, I mean, it's, you know, there's not any, it's well documented. I'm tough on the defensive guys, but you know, the defensive guys always, even in life, they, they seem to be handling everything. You gotta, you know, you gotta grow. I told him if I have to, that's where I'll spend my time. I'll be on the other end, all this, this bowl practices, and all through the spring. It's simple. You gotta grow up. You gotta, you gotta get mature. There's a responsibility that goes along with playing on, on a, in a championship level program. And there, it takes more work. It takes more work to win ball games and stay at a high level than it is to be average. Anybody can be average. So I'm not going to accept average. When I get to where I have to accept average, then I won't, you, won't, you won't have to get rid of me at TC. I'll find somewhere else to go coach. Simple as that. Average is not part of anything I do. Or I would just became a CEO and not call defenses and did it the way I, we've done it. A lot of people other do it. 
That's why I love Dr. Snyder. He's in the middle of all of it. I mean, he's been doing it. He just won his 200th in one game, and he's still got the play, still got the play sheet, still right in the middle of it, still calling plays, still going after it. Love it. It's the essence of what the game is all about. It's not about the money. It's not about the size of the crowds. It's not about. It's about the game that's played on the field. And when you get when you get tired of what's going on in the field, then you need to get out of the game. Because that's what's going to ruin the game. Is the people that don't want to. They know they're not about the game. So. Gary, did a lot of the toughness you're talking about on offense leave last year when you're quarterback? No, you got you got big he's starting for the Eagles. I mean, the last three years you got. You got some guys, ever since the Rose Bowl, you got some guys that have played here. You got Joey Hunt's playing. He started the other night for the Seattle Seahawks. You lost some good players. We got some young players. Some guys need to grow up. That's what I told the young guys. It's not so much, even as much the guys that played today. It's the guys behind them. You got to grow up. You have to have competition. You need to grow up. But you know, it's, that's what you tell young football teams. But you can't, you can't, you can't break them down so much that they never can't come back. And that's the thing that you got to realize is, you know, yeah, we we got to grow up because what they'll find out is it's kind of like that old saying where you know people are complaining. Well, nobody cares. You know, fifty percent don't care at all, and you know the other fifty percent are glad that it's happening to you because it's not happening to them. <laughs> So I mean, you gotta, you gotta. I mean, if things aren't going well, you, if you're not careful, you'd be standing by yourself. And so, that's what they gotta realize. Love them to death. You know, the thing is, sometimes people won't give coaches. Nobody, nobody wants to be the driving guy. Nobody wants to be the bad guy. Nobody wants to make guys grow up. Nobody wants to be the the hard parent. I mean, nobody wants to be that guy, or a lady, or mom. But you know, if you do it. You give them an opportunity to make it later in life. I know if I do it, I give them an opportunity to grow up and be a better football team. Simple. We got a lot of young players. We got seven seniors that basically played today. Okay, so we have a lot of guys that need to grow up, and we and maturity is, is part of the is part of the deal. So, doesn't mean that I don't like them. I mean, it doesn't mean anything like that. It just means. You know, you guys want me to be up here and you, you, you guys want the straight line story. Because I used to say the stat means with guys and, and when we went around the room, you had to talk about your position and that, that position guy got, that team, that part of the team got the, the, their butts kicked. And they go, you know, well, this guy played pretty decent. He played pretty decent. He played, whoa, 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 whoa. They all played pretty decent, but we just gave up 50 points. I don't understand that concept. And so, you got to come in, and you got to, but you got to give them hope. And hope comes in many looks. So we'll find out which way we need to do all that and, and go from there with it. But it's not a small process. And, uh, you know, you'd be really surprised. There's, got, there's a lot of people that know about TCU, guys that want to, that'll have possibility come in here. So we need to go help ourselves, and we need to go recruit and go right about our business, and hopefully we can get some of them that's going to make us better. So we got some guys coming in early already uh, that are going to make us better this spring. I mean, I'm excited about it. Anything else for Coach? Are there other years you've had to dip your hands into the offense like you're talking about? Oh, yeah. We were 5-6, 2004. You just need to talk to Coach Fitch, Coach Monkins, and Coach Phillips. They were part of the 2004-05 changeover. It wasn't a great experience. Enough that, you know, I'm, I'm going to tell you a great story. So, Kelsey and I were engaged when we were married yet. And so, the 2005 season, we go 11 and 1, beat Oklahoma, first game of the season. And so, I'm up on the stage with Dan McCartney. We're playing in the Houston Bowl, we're playing Iowa State. And all the defensive line is sitting with Mrs. P back at, at a table. And Sarnell draws the short straw. And so he's the one saying, Mrs. B, we got a question. This is before we got married, right? Or right after we got married. Actually, right, right after we got married. 
said, do you really love Coach B? Because they were having a hard time believing anybody could like me. <laughs> hey, anybody. You know, because do what you do. But the key, you know, through every place I've ever been, it's always worked. Driving kids because they know that I care. You know, you don't fool six-year-olds. You're not going to fool 22-year-olds. They know, they know that you care. That's all they care about. It's not about the delivery. It's about the message. It's always been about the message. Everybody does it different. I'd like to be like Coach Snyder where, you know, he does it. It's like this. Love to be that way and still get it done. It's just not me. We play it wear purple, though. You know, so you just, you just keep doing what you do and, and you look at Sometimes we get, we get lost in everything. You look, when, you walk, when I walk out the stadium at the end of every season, whether it's this one or last one or whatever, and you look up the stadium and see everything we've been able to accomplish, all the way the, the man of fans that now come to games. Now, today wasn't one of our better shows, but the way things we've done things has been truly incredible. So we have a lot of things to be thankful for, but again, the goal of this, this program is not to be average. Just not part of the deal. So, have a great weekend. Thanks, Coach. Go Frogs.